Alright, how's it going everybody? It's me, your favorite Black Clover YouTuber, Quan Credible. And today we will be breaking down Black Asta. This video will have some spoilers from the manga in there, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I would just leave down. So in this video, I'll basically be breaking down some common misconceptions about the form in itself. Um, just some things that I think the general community overlooks, as well as going over what we already know about the form. So what we do know about Black Asta is that the form is a result of the demon inside of Asta's sword trying to take control of him and Asta then re rejecting it um, and through that process uh, anti-magic flows through his body. Now in the form he gets significantly stronger and faster to what degree we don't have a solid multiplier yet just because the anime or manga has not given us one but we can at least assume from what we've seen that it is a great deal stronger and faster considering he's able to overpower or outspeed enemies he was currently nowhere near. However, if we look at the first time he transformed, it was a result of the Witch Queen more or less breaking his limits on his anti-magic and then him going into the form that way. However, every time since then, it's because he's used his key to sense the anti-magic in his sword and then consciously take that into himself. Doing so grants him the abilities that I mentioned earlier. Obviously, the biggest bonus of this would be being able to nullify basically all magic that his sword comes into contact with. However, there are some really big flaws in this that stop him from being as overpowered in this form as a lot of people in the community tend to think. The first major flaw I'm going to bring up is one that we recently seen in the manga. Uh, while he was fighting the elf reincarnation of Gosh, or Gosh, Gosh, whatever. Um, he was able to spread his magic out all over the field and the black form being attracted to strong amounts of magic just kind of flew around and essentially wasted his time. So if a enemy essentially has magic to spare, like elven levels of magic, then as long as they're not a total idiot, they could figure this out. However, that's not to say in the future he won't gain some more control over this form and be able to bypass that weakness. Now, the next flaw I want to bring up is kind of a bigger one. Uh, the fact that whenever he undergoes his transformation to his black form, he even says he has to maintain a stance to just take the anti-magic from the sword in so he can transform. Now, stopping mid-fight to stand still is definitely a no-go unless you have teammates to back you up. So that's a huge flaw right there just because you're mid-fight, no one's going to let you um, stand there and block or stand there and charge up your form unless this is Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> However, I will mention that um, recently, like I said, in the same fight, he was able to do his Black Hurricane, which is his spinny move, into the Black Transformation, which to me is a totally viable way to go into the Black form mid-fight just because you're blocking or repelling everything and then a transformation. I think that works out pretty well. So assuming he can continue to do that, then this weakness isn't so much of one, I guess. The last one and what I think is the biggest weakness or the most overlooked fact about the Black form is he can't go into it often nor can he maintain it for long periods of time the first transformation like the very first time he did it it was a bit different because the witch queen more or less forced him to go into it so it wasn't like he did it of his own will or anything like, like that because even in the anime or in the manga he lasted and that he lasted in his first transformation much longer than, than he has since he's been doing it on his own like since he's learned how to transform on, on his own he's really only been in the form long enough to maybe block a couple attacks and maybe get off one attack it's not he really can't last in that form a long period of time like take when he did it against the vice captain of the coral peacocks he literally had enough time to transform clear the uh, field with a anti-magic wave and then he was back to normal like that is no time at all or even take when he was fighting against Ghosh in, in a more recent fight in the uh, manga he literally had enough time just to fly around and then he was back to normal. Like the form really does not last that that long. I'm thinking hollow Ichigo mask levels of like time, maybe only a couple seconds. And then even at that, he can't go into it often. He can go into it about two times, maybe a third time if he forces it. And that one's even shorter as he stated his uh, self. So that one in itself, I think is a pretty blaring weakness and holds Asta back currently from being stronger than vice captains or captains, just because if it's a one-on-one -on -one fight with say any of the people that he's been on winning teams against he won't win just for the fact that a he might not be able to transform and b even if he does transform there's no guarantee he'll have enough time to finish the fight in a couple seconds like if you think about it if asta fought langris by himself there's no way he would have won like literally the only reason he was able to transform is because zora jumped in and it gave him an opportunity to transform 
Now, if they were to black Hurricane and then transform, the fight would probably go a little bit different, but then even then, I can't just flat out give it to Asta. Now, this isn't to downplay the form or Asta himself. I definitely think he'll grow stronger as the story goes. This is only like, again, his very baseline, like the first form of his, the, his uh, transformation. So I definitely think he will grow and the form will get more powerful as time goes on. He'll probably be able to go it more often or hold it for longer periods of time and things of that nature. But one thing that I like to draw attention to is um, so far, every time he's transformed, we see him drawing the energy from the sword through like one arm into himself. Or I guess I would like to see him, I guess, draw from two swords at the same time. Like, I don't know, like hopefully he'll do that soon or in the manga or that might be an, an idea. But like, imagine drawing the anti-magic energy from two swords at the, the same time to almost give him that like completed black Asta look I feel like that might give him I think that would be really cool I guess that's a, a prediction that I have of what he might do in the future but yeah just to sum it up black Asta is a really powerful form totally nullifies all magic comes in into contact with is attracted to large amounts of magic so there's really no getting away from it unless you're kind of smart or just really 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 fast but it in itself is still not without its weaknesses so that's always a uh, good thing to remember but again if you feel like i missed anything or anything you want to drop down in the comments let me know i love reading those but outside of that i'll catch you guys in my next video i'm out